This is code.org. Let's talk about how to add an image to your application. It's something students often find frustrating. I too can find frustrating. So let me go into design. I actually added an icon already, but let me zoop. So here I am in my app and keep in mind, I'm in design mode, not code mode. You should be able to see this. If you don't see design mode, it's not actually letting you wherever you're at, add an image. So in design mode, it says image. If I click on it, it doesn't do anything. It's super annoying. You actually have to drag it and drop. Now your teacher will get onto you, or at least they should, and I would. I need to give this image a good ID. No spaces. I'm just gonna, uh, this is my example. I don't know, what will I do? I'm gonna do a unicorn image. So, or this is my start screen. Start image would be a good ID. Now you have several options. I'm gonna hit choose right off the bat. I could upload a file. I could use a link. I'm going to show you how to do all three of these. They also have icons. And so if your teacher's okay with you using icons, you could always, you know, look a great picture and on icons, it's kind of cool. I could even color it. So that's one of your options for your image. And then you can drag to resize. You can even give it a border. All of these are possibilities for you. However, let's also, I'm going to get out of Joop. And let me show you how to use an image from, I don't know, the Googles. So here I am on Google and I said, I'll do a unicorn image, unicorn. Wah! And if you are aware or do want to be aware of creative commons, if your teacher's fine with you using whatever, use whatever for this, I'll do usage rights, creative commons license, real easy to make sure I'm allowed to use. And something that can be frustrating is the type of image. You want to make sure it's not an H5 image or HTML5. So let's say I want to use this guy or I don't know that guy. Sure. That one's huge. That's too big. Uh, this one looks all right. I'm looking at this for size. So you could right click on this and do save image as right click, save image as, and then I can name this and see how this says WebP. This is super annoying. That image won't work. Um, I can go through how to make it work, but let's just look for one. We know will work with all, all the hassle. And so this is a PNG. A JPEG would work. It's just the H, uh, HTML5 images that don't. You could even try something like PNG after it, um, and that's going to increase the likelihood of a workable image. Pay attention to the size. If you do get too large of an image, it might not upload. You could always do image resize and resize it by 50% using one of these tools. However, I'm going to pick one that I believe will work. Save image as, and I'll say unicorn. Note where you save it. I'm saving mine to my downloads folder and save. There we are. Let me head back here. I can click on this. I can click choose image now. My files, upload file, unicorn, open that guy up. And now I have to click choose. So I know that was a bunch of steps. It has an out, it has a background right now because I choose, chose an image with a background. If I don't want an image with a background, that's also a possibility. So let me pick this one this time. And now let me show you the other option. Instead of downloading it, I'm going to right click again on it or on a Mac, you could use command click and I'm going to say copy image address, copy image address. Once I do this, heading back to the app, I'll click on this again and choose this time, instead of hitting upload and choosing and then hitting choose, I'm going to go link to image. I'm going to right click here and paste my link right here. PNG great and hit submit. And there we are. Ooh, this one doesn't have a transparent background either. Let's see if we can get something. And notice I clicked on transparent. That might be there for you too. Let's try this one. I'm going to do the same thing. Copy image address. I'm thinking this one because it's right here, but uh, squares in the background here and choose. Once again, I did the link, so I'll click link and I'm going to right click and then click paste and submit. And this one will have the transparent background. So those are your three options to adding a fun image to your app. But uh